Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Master of Darkness, and when last we left off, we're going to get that thing over there in the corner, because we probably should. This was a power-up to destroy the enemies, which is handy, so we can jump over to here, get rid of- oh! Gotta be very careful with that jump. Definitely want to get over there and grab whatever is there. It's probably going to be something really good. That's going to be points, though. Okay, we went to this effort. What is it? It's an extra life! Marvellous! That makes up for the life that I lost, jumping down a bottomless pit. Get rid of you, and I believe we found the next little area. Or the end of the stage! Even better! This is a round that I was never able to complete when I was younger. Hopefully, I'll be able to figure out how to do so this time round. I do remember one thing about Round 2, Stage 2, and that is that they add falling platforms in here, and enemies that are just going to rush at you while you're on those falling platforms. You may think that uh, right here we're perfectly safe, and we are. We're not going to be safe if we jump on this, or any of these, so we'll just very quickly move forward. We don't want that, we want this though, I imagine. Aha! What is this? Points. Never mind, we did not want them. Let's just go up. Also, this is a really unusual house of waxworks. It's mostly a cave. Here is not a cave, though, as we find a knife that's trying to kill us. That knife is really good at trying to kill us, so if we, uh, add a chair, we need to get this knife. Fortunately, the knife only takes one hit to, uh, be defeated. Let's see if we can get you. There we go. Because I want what's up here. Hopefully it's something neat. The answer is, it's the boomerang. I'd rather not have the boomerang. I do want more bombs, though. That's going to come to life. Yep, that was too obvious. That was less obvious. And that was definitely not obvious. Okay, you, I'm just going to ignore you. And we're probably going to, yep, have to fight lots of things that are going to come to life. Pretty much everything. I wonder if the person who, uh, has the, uh, House of Waxworks here is some kind of magician. We need to get rid of these bats, don't we? Yep, otherwise we'll never be able to move forward. We have to go this way. Alright. Hopefully this is not a maze. It could very well be a maze, and I do not want to go down here. You never really want to go down holes, you always want to go up. There we go. Up here. This leads over to this area. You're going to go this way. Now, I want that power-up, but I'm probably not going to be able to get it without dying. So, let's just ignore it. That's probably a trap going, hey, would you like an extra life and death? No, not really. Don't want the death part. I'm going to have to be careful about you, because you're going to be a problem. You're just going to keep following me until I hit you. Hello, you! We don't want the furniture trying to get us here. And we want you to go away, yep. And we'll go over here. And is there... Yep, it's just going to spawn random pieces of furniture and paintings at me. We should be able to deal with them, though. I say should, and then we get killed by chairs. Dr. Ferdinand Social, slain by chairs! Now, where are we going to go? This way, I think. This is not an area we've been before. So let's just get rid of you and head up. Hopefully heading up is the right idea. We can only hope. Oh, wow. This level is just, uh, this area doesn't like me. There are knives and there are pictures and everything else that's trying to kill me. Let's just get all of you and then you. Then this, because they're obviously going to get me. Anything else? Okay, I can see two things here that are going to try and attack me. You, and you. You're going to end up on the floor, though. And so I'm not so bo- Well, I was going to say I'm not so bothered about you, but then you hit me. Any health here? No! Let's just keep moving. Aha! We're past the second stage. But the third one. Can we best the third one, or is this the point where I got stuck? We'll find out. Lots of points, though! Do we get any extra lives for points? Probably not. Hello? Are we immediately in an area where our life is in danger? Of course we are! 
The good news about the knives is they cannot hit you if you are crouching. Let's get rid of this chair. We don't want to sit down anyway. Do we want the axe? I don't actually want the axe right now because I'd like to be able to, uh... Ah, putting that foe there, very clever, means we can't easily take care of the, uh... the, uh, knife. Now, you're going to, uh, yep, you're going to try and hit me, and, ooh, we can hit them if we are not jumping. Oh, this is precarious. Are we going on the tops of the buildings here? First, let's deal with you. I don't know if we can... Are we just going to fall here? We might just fall. This looks really bad. Well, let's see what happens. Ah, we go down! Okay, we're now on the rooftops! Don't think we're in the waxworks anymore! Let's jump very carefully here. And there are bats. At least here, bats make sense. Because we are, uh, outside. Let's grab... Ooh, the gun power-up! Definitely want the gun power-up. They always put the gun power-up in a difficult place to grab, even though it doesn't deal that much damage. Right, you're going to fly away. Good. This is the... just points? Okay. Imagine if that had been the knife, and then I'd have... Oh, hello! We're here! Well, you're gone now. Goodbye. That was definitely, uh, surprising, though. Wasn't expecting that at all. Get rid of the bat. Of all the enemies I've encountered, the bat is the most tricky. And there's you. I'm here, but I'm gone. Okay. Maybe I will get past, uh, level two after all. I think it was the second part that I was always stuck on. I think I'll take the bombs, though. And you're going to do that. I'm going to slowly make my way up. Can I hit you? No. Going to have to, uh, go up a bit here. And then jump! Ha <laughs> ha! Dr. Ferdinand Social. Psychologist. Paranormal investigator. Adept with a hammer. Very adept with a hammer. Now, is going to the left going to be worth it? Possibly. I'm going to take a risk here. It's an extra life! Aha! Worth doing, for sure. Let's go over and hit this one. More health! I'll take that as well. We're not yet at the boss. Ah, you're going to, uh, hit me there. Do need to be more careful about them. Need to remember that we are not invulnerable. Grab this, though. Get rid of you two. And re Ooh, hello! They keep popping out of nowhere, quite literally. Gotta watch out for that. Do I want the knife? No. Goodbye, knife. We will never see you again. Boss? Oh, yes, it is the boss. Hello? Hee-hee-hee. <laughs> blood young. Fresh blood. Oh, dear. Hello? We need to hit you for sure. Or do we need to hit the, uh... Do we need to hit the skull? I don't know what we need to hit here. Not the skull, maybe. This is... Ah, we do need to hit the skull! And then it goes back to you, and then we... Okay, we have to hit the skull. And we can hit it, and when we do hit it, it becomes, uh, unable to harm us. Right, let's be, uh, mindful of that. As we just stand in the corner and hopefully don't die. We're going to die because we lost way too much health figuring out how to defeat this boss. Fortunately, I have lots of lives. Then you absorb the skull back into your body and then you, uh... You expel it once again. Let's be careful here. Yeah, this, uh, boss is dealing way too much damage. What if I were to throw a bomb? The bombs have a really awkward arc, don't they? They deal a lot of damage, though! My, they deal lots of damage. If I can hit you with that bomb one more time, we may be able to, uh, to win here. The bombs are really powerful. So let's hope that, uh, we can just hit you and we are gone. Ah. At least we figured out what we need to do now. Ah, we're back here. Good. The game gives us an opportunity to get a few more things, because we're going to need them. Let's just grab this, shall we? and get the axe. The axe might actually be quite handy here. This is definitely a learning experience because I have never dealt with this boss before. Let's just quickly go over here, shall we? We don't have any, we don't have any power-ups right now, but we might when we uh, grab some of these. Let's give it a go. That was just points. 
So we quickly have to go through this stage again. We'll grab those bombs again, for sure. Those bombs are going to be really useful. And then we get a return of the amazing appearing squad of people. Where are they? Not here just yet. Soon, though. Soon they will appear. We don't want that. We do, however, want to say hi to these people. Where are they? Just need to get rid of this bat first. The bat, of course, will hit us lots. There they are! Hello! We're here! We're gone now! Very surprising they just did that, just threw an enemy jumping up at you. Are you just going to keep circling, Mr. Bat? I hope not. We want to, uh, yep, get that health for sure. And be, uh, a lot quicker in our attacks. Fortunately, this, uh, third stage is not that long. Will the extra life still be there? That would be nice. I'm not going to, uh, count on it being there, though. Let's just quickly get you and you. Up we go some more. Is it still there? It may very well still be there. Also, I've got to move. Don't want to get hit some more. Let's give it a go once, of course, we've dealt with you. Yes! Unlimited one up! So we have an unlimited number of tries to get through this. Always nice to know. Let's try this again in a moment, after, of course, we have dealt with all of you, and grabbed this. Don't want to take care of all of you by swinging this axe, after all. The axe is going to make it a little bit trickier to... No, I do not want the knife! Why do you keep offering the knife at the, uh, the exact point where you're going to get to the boss? So this, I believe, is a vampire. Let's try our best to deal with you, using this axe, and also using, uh, all the bombs that we have. You take a whole heart when you, uh, hit me, but we take a whole, uh, thing when we hit you. Let's be careful here, and try our best to, uh, nope, that's not good. There's not really a good pattern to avoiding the, uh... Can we hit you there? No, doesn't seem like it just sort of bounces around randomly, which isn't great for avoiding it. Maybe if we go down here, we're safe. I hope so. No, no, we're not safe. We're not safe at all anywhere, are we? We can hit you there, though. That's pretty good. And you're going to go over to there, I think? Yep, over to that side. This is when this boss takes forever to beat going to go over there. Right, let's just try and hit you as quickly as we can. We need to throw bombs, I think. Bombs are doing pretty well, but we only have two of them left. Now we only have one, and we now have none. The uh, axe really does not have the range for this. That is the problem. It just doesn't have the range. We can hit you there and here. You have only a few hits left. Can we best you, Mr. Skull? You'd think that the uh, vampire would try and hit us, you know, with vampiric powers, but it would seem not. Also, we are- There we go! Aha! Take that, vampire! That killed you! That's how you deal with vampires, folks! You just defeat the giant skull that they project! Or was that a vampire? Maybe it wasn't. Let's find out. the cemetery east of town. After defeating the evil spirit, the psychic girl managed to gasp a warning before falling into unconsciousness. Oh, so that was a psychic girl, not a vampire. Jack the Ripper was collecting bodies and fresh blood to be spilt as sacrificial offerings to dark forces. The cemetery east of town. There was no way to know what the message was warning him about. Dr. Social had to act quickly, so he rushed there as fast as he could. Round 3. Epitaph. We are in a cemetery! This, at least, is very apt for a Castlevania-style game. And we cannot, uh, walk past that one there. We have to jump over. Let's get some points as we move forward and defeat this bat. That's being here, quite apt. Aha! My favourite weapon! It's got long reach, it attacks quickly. It does take two hits to defeat a... Uh, oh, careful! They tried to surround me, and the dogs have come back! Any new foes, though? Well, there are bats, we've seen bats before. Do we 
we want to go up? We want to go up and get those. Are you going to... Nope, you cannot climb the stairs. Dogs can jump, though. Dogs can jump. We have a gun. And we're getting attacked by bats. Of course we are. That's okay, though, because we can grab this. Bombs. The bombs are pretty useful, but I'll stick with the gun. The gun might have been quite useful in the, uh... Aha! Not... Nope, I was about to say not this time, bats. Turns out I was wrong. This time as well. Oh, hello, dog! Where did you come from? I want to be a part of this! And we left, but we can go back. That is something that is quite cool. You can return to, uh, the screens that you've been to before. And I can grab this health. Didn't want to leave without that. Or without this hidden gun. There had to be something hidden there. And so onwards we go, forwards through the cemetery. And hopefully we'll figure out uh, what was going on. So the psychic girl was not in fact a vampire, even though she craved fresh blood. Maybe for Dracula? There's a chance. Aha! There are moving platforms over there. I'm quite afraid of them. They're going to be difficult to deal with, aren't they? We're gonna have to, ooh, we could go this way. Do I want to go that way? I think I do. What's over here? An ax, do I want that? No, I'll stick with the one I've got. Let's crouch and go through here. Ah, brings us down to here. Do I want to be here? Possibly not, but we're here now. So let's jump, oh, we cannot jump over that easily. Does hurt. But there must be something here that was worth going over here for. The answer is... Bombs. What about over here? Ah, I can't actually go that way. I think we'd have had to have gone uh, to the right to... Uh... No! We can get it from there. Extra life. Awesome. We're accumulating quite a few of them. I don't know why there are dogs here, but we shall best them. And then deal with the zombies. Enemies I am expecting. That's probably going to take us over to the area we've already been to. Careful of you jumping. And careful of... Nope, just points. Okay, there are lots and lots of bats there. And a dog. Because of course we need so many enemies on the screen that they're slow down. Let's grab... Yeah, let's grab some gun. Probably should have uh, kept the gun since the beginning. Now, can I get you by jumping? Yes. Haha, <laughs> goodbye, bat. Oh, and let's try our best to get through here. Yes, we have to destroy this bit of wall to make progress. Through the first stage. Not bad at all. Hopefully the boss of the next uh, round, this one I'm in, will not be as difficult as the one in round two. It's probably going to be much more difficult, isn't it? Oh, of course it will be. Let's... Ooh! There are skeletons now! Skeletons with shoulder pads! Looking stylish there, Mr. Skeleton! Let's just deal with you. What's this? It's another hammer! Ooh, they charge! Right, good to know! Good to know that they charge. Let's just deal with you. We can go down here. Do we want to? Where does down lead to? Down leads to... over here! Maybe there are branching paths. That would be qu oh, that would be quite neat. I was about to say, but then we got hit by the slowdown, the most devastating weapon in any arsenal of any vampire. What's over here that'll make going over here worth it? Points. You know what? I'm not that bothered about the points. You can keep them. Let's go down here, shall we? And over to this area. Is that going to be worth it? Is that going to be an extra life or something awesome? It's probably just going to be points, isn't it? Maybe. Let's find out. Could we have just gone the other way? I doubt it. I bet there's no way uh, back uh, down. What's over here? Health. Okay, that's not the worst. Interesting that the game fills up the entire health that it can restore, even though you can get to full health a lot sooner. Okay, brings us to here. Let's be uh, very careful in dealing with you, and just move on. Maybe we did have to go this way. Did I inadvertently go in the right direction? Possibly. Do you want a boomerang? No, not really. Let's keep going. Ah, more skeletons. At least the skeletons don't have guns. One, two. Two hits of the hammer, and they are gone. And we'll head down here. You can't get me. You'll try, though. Let's crouch walk over here. And grab... 
points. So we'll want to head up, unless there's anything over here. Nope, nothing over there. We've got plenty of time, many minutes, that I'm sure I'll waste uh, trying to kill a bat or something. Up we go, Dr. Ferdinand. Ooh, this is nice looking. Let's be careful, because we do not want to fall all the way back down. Do we want to go up? Sure, let's go up. Even further up. And fortunately, when you're on a uh, stairway, if you get hit, you do not fall off. What is that that is worth falling and getting hit for? I do not know. Let's have a look! It is a power-up to destroy all the enemies. Well, that wasn't worth getting, was it? And that was me falling all the way back down. Silly me. Let's just quickly uh, get back over to here. We're going to stay on this level, actually. Seems like an idea. And there is something. Do I want it? It's just points. I don't want it. You can keep your points, and I'll keep my health. Well, as much as I can anyway, with all of these skeletons and bats everywhere. That looks vaguely important. Do I want to go over here and grab it? It's going to be an extra life, isn't it? No, I can actually quite safely... Oh, no, I can't. That was sneaky, game. That was very sneaky. Throwing an enemy right there. Clever. Well played. And so, when we come back, folks, we will continue through the cemetery. And hopefully I won't fall victim to any more sneaky tricks like that. I'm sure I will. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.